Steam Engine Handcrafts and animal-drawn carts were used until the first half of the 18th century. Different types of wheels were being made to fit different types of carts being made. Speed had improved a little, but it was not yet great. The wheel was also finding applications in other things than carts, like in scissors, pliers and drillers. One day, a young boy named James Watt observed that steam lifted the lid of a kettle in which water was boiling. When steam was released from the kettle, it pushed up the lid. From this, he concluded that steam has power. By this time, the steam engine was already in use, but it wasted a lot of energy. James Watt used this discovery in making a condenser which utilized steam more efficiently. He did this in 1769 at first. The steam engine was used to pump out water from coal mines. The revolutionary idea was soon applied in the fields of transportation, agriculture and industry, including for ships and railway engines. An important application of the steam engine was to develop a locomotive. It was developed by George Stephenson in 1814. This engine, called Blutcher, had the capacity to pull eight coal wagons at a speed of about six kilometers per hour. Today, this speed may look very slow, but it was a milestone in further development. In 1829, he built another quicker locomotive, the Rocket. It could go up to a speed of 50 km per hour and could carry a wagon with 30 passengers. This was an important improvement in the railway engine. Know it. Karl Benz of Germany was the first person to make a petrol car in 1888. Mass Production the steam engine now made it easy to automate machinery. This meant that the tools which had to be operated by hand could now run on steam. It aided in mass industrial production too. Now, many industrial operations came to be undertaken by machines. New machines were invented to meet new needs in different fields. This led to a large production. Moreover, New machines needed less energy and manpower while it ensured a uniform quality of goods. This made the goods cheaper and ensured their better availability. As more machines were introduced in industries, the ideas of division of labor and specialization in production came into being. Larger production meant that new markets were needed to sell the goods, while more of raw material was also needed to manufacture goods. This expanded the scope of trade, transportation and communication. As more and more industries were set up, more workers sought employment in them, who now lived near their factories. This was how industrial towns came into being. The very shape of the world was undergoing a change with this phase of development which is called industrial revolution. Today, very large and complicated machines are used in different industries which can produce goods in a very large number. Important terms Machine age The present age when machines are used aplenty. Alloy a mixture of two or more metals to produce another metal. Bronze Age The age about 5000 years ago when bronze was primarily used. Iron Age The present age when iron is abundantly used. Industrial Revolution The period in 18th and 19th centuries in England when machines began to be used in industry. Locomotive A railway engine Division of labor, a system in which different workers do different things in an industry. Important facts, tools and machines have made our life comfortable. The present age is called the machine age because of abundant use of machines in all fields of life. Copper is believed to be the first metal found by man. The bronze age was an important milestone before the iron age ushered. The Industrial Revolution started in the 18th century with the invention of the steam engine. 
and led to mass production, factory system and division of labor. The invention of the steam engine was an important step in the progress of the Industrial Revolution. The steam engine found application in several other fields.